I've been in the dating industry now for 12 years. I've worked with such companies as RSD, Endless Options as a head coach, the company that was run by Jesse from Simple Pickup, and a writer and a coach for Girls Chase, run by Chase Amante. This is my profession, this is my life, this is my obsession, is getting you good with women. And the usual culprit of preventing you from getting good with women is the fear to even talk to them to begin with or to even communicate with other people. And if you can't communicate with women, how are you going to improve? If you're too afraid to talk to women, you're not gonna learn from your mistakes. You're not gonna get success because the women don't even know you exist. So in this video, I think I finally have come to a solution for approach anxiety. It's taken me 13 years now to find this solution. And today I give it to you. With that being said, let's get into the video. We had the house party staying after hours for real. Balling for real. Got a baddie on my left and my ex there are five things you need to know if you want to overcome your approach anxiety. Step number one, there are things that draw you to an action and things that propel you away from it. So there's a person that if he was in your body would have no problem approaching women. Who is that guy? The guy has a different mindset and belief systems and he has mindsets and beliefs that you don't have. So identifying these mindsets are going to allow you to become the person who would effortlessly approaches people, who has no problem showing intent to a woman. Now a way that you can do this is sitting down with pen and paper. Ask yourself, when did I not approach a girl? What are the thought processes that stopped me from doing that? Now, what are proper mindsets I can put in its place? Let's say you see a girl who is with her friends and you say, oh no, I don't want to approach her because I don't want to embarrass myself. Well, what are the mindsets of the guy that if he was in your body would have no problem going to say hi to that girl? He would have an internal looks control. He wouldn't worry about what the girls are thinking of him. He would look at the fun of it. He wouldn't take rejection as a big deal. He would see it approaching and flirting with the girl as fun and playful. It's not that big a deal. And if it doesn't work out, What's the downside? Why is it a bad thing if you get rejected? In all actuality, it's actually a good thing for you. Let me give you another one. Let's say that there is a girl who is near a security guard. Why would you be afraid to approach her? You'd be afraid to approach her because you're afraid of getting in trouble. Well, to be fair, if you're approaching a girl and you're being empathetic towards her situation and she rejects you and you, and you take the rejection in a positive way, what does it matter? And if the security guard was to approach you, you say, hey, I just thought she was cute. I'm sorry, not a big deal. Yeah, she rejected me and I was cool with it. Or she received it well. <laughs> step number two, baby step your approaches. I want you to piecemeal it. You guys are adding too much to your plate. You guys are trying to eat the entire cake instead of taking it one piece at a time. So what happens in your head before you approach is that you say, I have to approach her. Then I have to get her to like me. Then I have to get her phone number. Then this and this and this. And you stack all this stuff on top. And now it becomes impossible for your approach because it wasn't just the approach itself. It's now all these dozens of things that you have to do to approach her and it becomes overwhelming and you're already having enough issues with saying hi to a girl to begin with. So what's the solution? Passing compliments, piecemeal your approaches, tiered approaching. Now here's tiered approaching right here in case you guys are curious. You guys want to be doing passing compliments at first. I always warm up every night with three to five passing compliments. Then I set a goal of approaching 15 people. Then once I usually do that, I usually find myself getting into the zone or getting into a better social headspace that allows me actually to be attracted to women, as long as I follow the process. A passing compliment goes like this. Hey, love your dress, just had to say that. Have a good night, and you keep walking. You do not have a conversation, you keep walking. Hey bro, love your hat, that's fucking fire. Yeah, no worries, have a good night, keep walking. Hey, you guys make a cute couple, no worries, have a good night. Hey, like your face. Yeah, symmetrical as fuck, keep it up, have a good night. That left pinky toe, that's a sexy left pinky toe. Yeah, no worries. Have a good night. Then once you get into more social headspace, then you can worry about having conversations. Then you can worry about going direct. Then you can try to work on picking up the girls. But if you're having initially a hard time with cold approaching, don't try to do all that at once. Take it one piece at a time. Step number three, be extroverted every day. A little bit more than you usually feel. So if you're in a taxi cab, give the guy a compliment. If you are looking for something, ask somebody for direction. Maybe something comes to your mind when you're sitting down or you're in a certain situation and you comment to the person next to you what you were thinking. Small extroverted actions daily, a little bit more than what you usually feel comfortable with. And this will actually build and compound over time and your ego will start believing that you are extroverted. Then once it believes you're extroverted, it will allow you to a cold approach in a venue a lot easier. If you're spending five days out of your week not talking to women and then two days, like three hours a night trying to talk to women, it's gotta be a lot harder. So you wanna be consistent with it. Game is not something that you do. Game is something that you are. Step number four, get wingmen. Now, it's really hard to go out and approach women when you're by yourself. Since the weight of society is weighing down on you, no other guys are approaching women. So now it's up to you to be the guy that decides I'm going to do this for my own good because I know this is going to improve my results over time and I'm gonna become more charismatic and I want this kind of lifestyle and I want to connect with people. 
I want to give good energy. I want to be extroverted. I don't want to be shy anymore. I don't want to be confined to my own mind. I want to find friends. But surrounding yourself with a group of guys that are like-minded like you will reimburse and re bolster up this mindset that it's okay to go talk to people. And if they are cool, relaxed guys who've been gaming for a while, you guys can have fun. You guys can joke around, tease, fuck around, and get yourself into a good headspace that makes you attractive to women. Because what do women go out for? They go out to have fun, not necessarily pick up guys. And if you align your goals with having fun, they're going to want to be around you more. Instead of if you approach them from a headspace of their objects, their objects, their objects, and trying to convince them to go home with you. Instead, your goal is to have fun, not to pick them up. And then as a byproduct, girls want to naturally go home with you. Which actually takes me to step five. That game is work, not play. And you should be having fun with this. This isn't supposed to be drudgery. This isn't supposed to be you beating your head against the wall trying to figure this out. This is supposed to be fun and playful. And if you don't look at it from a playful headspace, girls won't want to be around you. You're going to have a lot harder time going out. Girls are going to reject you a lot more. And you're going to, over time, run yourself down into the dirt. You're going to not have enough willpower to overcome this. Uh, you, you have to relax and have fun doing this. And if you're having fun... It's not a big deal. None of this shit is a big deal. Look at like a video game when you go out. This is your time to actually be you. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Ask yourself, how can I have fun tonight? Which, if you don't know what a field port, this is what it is. But write a field report based on the fact that you want to have fun. Ask yourself, how could I have had more fun tonight? If I could relive tonight over again, how would I have fun? If this was Groundhog Day or the day after tomorrow, how would I have more fun? If I could relive this night again and again and again, how could I do it? All right, guys, hope you guys like this video. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. And with that being said, peace.